So the, uh, there were actually two talks about uh, vaccines. One, the one having to do with, with reactions, probably the most important message out of there has to do with influenza vaccine and egg allergy. So for a very long time, uh, if a patient was allergic to eggs, the thought was that they should not receive an influenza vaccine because the vaccine is in fact grown in eggs and contains egg protein. And the concern would be that if you gave that vaccine to someone with egg allergy, that they would have an allergic reaction to the vaccine, perhaps even a serious or anaphylactic reaction. Uh, it turns out though that over the last uh, 10 years or more, there's been a number of studies, a very large number of studies actually done where they've intentionally taken patients who are very definitely egg allergic and given them the influenza vaccine and not seen any reactions. Um, and so uh, that, that's included patients who have very severe reactions to the ingestion of eggs. So somebody who would eat, say, a bite of scrambled egg and could have a truly life-threatening reaction, even those patients have received the influenza vaccine uneventfully. And so the, the recommendations on that have, have evolved over the years as more and more of these studies have been done. And, and this year is the first uh, year that the official documents that come out every year uh, that give guidance on the administration of, of influenza vaccine more generally have specifically said that egg allergy is not a risk factor for having a reaction to an influenza vaccine. So it turns out that about one in a million patients who gets any vaccine can have a serious allergic reaction to the vaccine, but the chance of that happening is no greater in patients who have egg allergy as it relates to influenza vaccine. So the kind of take home message from that is even patients who say they are egg allergic can safely receive the, the influenza vaccine and, and there's no special precautions required about that. They don't need to go see an allergist, they don't need to be skin tested with the vaccine, they don't have to wait some particular amount of time afterwards. They really should be uh, vaccinated just like the vaccine would be given to any other patient. So probably uh, there, there are vaccines that are uh, more commonly given uh, in, in childhood. So uh, varicella vaccine, uh, measles, mumps, and rubella vaccine uh, can cause reactions. Those turn out to be related to allergy to gelatin, which is a, a component of those vaccines. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes patients can actually generate uh, allergic reactions to the immunizing agent itself, the, the, the actual substance to which they're being uh, immunized. But again, even in those cases, most patients who need subsequent doses of those vaccines can often receive them uh, in a more cautious uh, manner where we divide the dose and give them over a period of time.